Hmm. Oh, what's going on, everyone? Grandmaster Mario here. Uh, today, I am going to show you my gaming collection. I am going to show you my video game and my movie collection of all the games I got. All the new games I got, because I got a bunch of new games. Uh, new to me. New, new to me owning them. Um, all my movies I got, all my games I got, all my games I have world records in, all my new games I got, all my gaming accessories. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you my collection. Games I beat, games I haven't beat. Uh, I have about 115, maybe even 120 games. I'm not exactly sure on the exact number of games I have. But yeah, I have about 115 or 120 games. Not all of them are video games. Some of them are DVD interactive games like trivia ones. And probably, I probably have about 75 video games and then like 30 interactive games and something like that. Something like that. I have a lot of games. But yeah, here we go. Let's get underway. The new games I just got, again, new to me. I just got Mario, Mario and Duck Hunt NES. I had the game before, but yeah. Uh, Mario Dunk Hunt NES. Now, I have this game on SNES as well. I have it, the All-Stars version, but a big part of the reason why I got this, this copy, is because it's, for some odd reason, uh, a little bit, there's, there's slight differences in the NES version and SNES version when it comes to speedrunning. When it comes to speedrunning, it's slightly different. So yeah, I got this, and I'm going to run it to to see to see how fast I can get. I'm not gonna get. I'm definitely not gonna get any world records, but I'm just gonna do it for fun and out of curiosity. I've beaten this a few times without warping. A few times on NES, I beat it m way more times on the SNES without warping. I beat this a bunch of times with warping, only a few times without warping. So, yeah, there's slight differences. I also got SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 for PlayStation 2. I played this a few times before. A few times before. I played it that I played it way back in like 2008 or so on the Xbox only only if only a handful of times though I now have it on the PS2 yeah I I'm very much in the wrestling games and I'm very good at wrestling games so yeah Ugh. Ugh. I also got Soul Calibur Legends on the on the Nintendo Wii. Um, I've never played it before. I really like Soul Calibur 2, and I'm really good at it, at Soul Calibur 2. I have a lot of world records in Soul Calibur 2, so I decided to get this game. Soul Calibur 2 is actually the only Soul Calibur game I played, so I decided to get this. This doesn't really have... I don't think this has arcade modes and stuff. I only think it has story mode, and that's it. I don't know why, but I guess, yeah. Anyways, I picked it up. I also got Soul Calibur, Soul Calibur 2 on the PS2. Um, now, I have Soul Calibur 2 on the GameCube, but um, I believe you can't... You can't... Uh, you can't play with the elderly man on on the GameCube version, but you can play with Link on the GameCube version. So I got it 
so I can play with him as well. And I think there may be some slight differences. I actually grew up playing the one on the PlayStation 2. I actually grew up playing it on the PlayStation 2, but I never really owned it. I just played it at a friend's place for a long time on the PS2. Uh, then I owned it on the GameCube. I haven't played it on a PS2 for quite a while. I also got Tekken 5 for the PlayStation 2 as well. So I got a few tech I got a few Tekken games. Uh I played a few Tekken games in my day. I played I played and beat Tekken 3 once. I played and beat Tekken Tag a bunch of times. And I also played and beat Tekken 5 as well. Oh no, I yeah, I have played Tekken 5. I forgot. It was the demo version, though. It was the demo version that I played and beat many times. I never played the actual version. I played the demo version. It's this. It's pretty much the same. Only the demo is, of course, shorter. And it's been a long time since I played Tekken Five. I also got this game. On the PlayStation 2 as well, Fight Night Round 3. <sighs> Fight Night Round 3, the boxing game for PlayStation 2. I've never played this, at least not this particular boxing game. I'm excited to play it and probably eventually speedrun it. <laughs> I also got... NHL 2005 for PS2. I used to play this but I used to play this as a teenager, like 14 or 15. I I used to play this as a teenager. Um I never actually won a single game in this. I I'm on a whole different gaming level now. I'm a lot better than I used to be. And I believe I used to also play on hard mode. I was just that kind of person. A lot of kids, a lot of kids would say stuff like, you need to play it on hard mode. So yeah, I would usually play play games on hard mode. Because they had the ma that mentality and they gave me that mentality. But no. I'm I'm going to do some speed runs in NHL 2005 eventually at least. Harry Potter for the place for the GameCube. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the GameCube. Yes, it's actually called Sorcerer's Stone. Uh it's about it's about a 3 hour game. And that's on any percent. That's like speed running it, any percent. It's a long game. I beat it. I beat it about twenty five times. I beat it about twenty five to 30, 30 times, something like that. I also got Twisted Metal for the PlayStation One. I played it once as a kid, but haven't didn't play it again until two thousand nineteen. I. Never beat it. I've only played it a few times. I got WCW Revenge Mode on the N64. I used to play this all... I used to play this a lot as a teenager. Um, I've been playing games since I was a young kid. Like, eight years old or whatever. So, yeah, I've been playing a long time, but I've been playing this since I was a teenager. I used to love playing this game, especially, I used to, like, play the Royal Rumbles and, like, play the, like, 40-man Royal Rumbles and, like, eliminate every single person. I was really good at it, and I really liked it a lot. I liked the game a lot. Now I'm going to mention the games that I have world records in. The sh showcase them. 
First off, we get we got WWF Attitude for the Nintendo 64. I have a former world record in this game. I have one former world record in this game, um, and it's the King of the Ring mode. I was the first ever person to beat this game in under three minutes. I was also the first person to ever beat it in under one minute. And I was also the first person to ever beat it in fi in under 50 seconds. My record's 48.810. It, it is a former world record. It's now second place. So I don't hold any world records in this right now. Not currently. Used to. Used to hold the one King of the Ring. Um, I also... I've been playing it for about 20 years. About 20 years. I also got second place in the European Championship career mode. Now, I thought I was the first one to do it. I thought I was the first one to speedrun it, but apparently one other guy uh, speedrunned it before me. So I was actually second place when I did it. I'm now third. I was actually second place when I got it, but I thought I got the world record, but I didn't. It would have been world record because no one else did it before. So, yeah, WWF Attitude. I grew up playing the... I grew up playing the PlayStation 1 version. I didn't even know this one existed until a few years ago. I grew up playing the PS1 version, but ended up doing the N64. With the N64, you don't have to wait for loads. With the PS1, you do. And I'm going to show you the other game that I am a former world record holder in. WWF Warzone for the N64. I used to play this a lot as a teenager. I've been playing it since teenager. Um, WWF Attitude I've been playing since I was a kid. Uh, WWF Warzone for the N64. I played it a lot. I never really finished the challenge mode until like a few years ago. I always struggled with that. But I actually ha now have two former world records for this game. I have former world record for uh, challenge mode, no countouts, and challenge mode with countouts. Uh, they're, they're both former world records, but I'm now in second place. Uh, there are six people who speedrun this game. So I used to be world record holder out of six different people. Um, now I'm second in both. The exact same person is beating me in both. He's, he's gotten really freaking good in wrestling games. This one, I had the world record against two other people. So there were three people who speedrunned it at the time that I held the world record. Now there's five and I'm second place. UFC. So those are the two games that I'm former world record in. Now I'm going to show you the games that I still have current world records in. I got UFC UFC Throwdown for the GameCube. I got UFC Throwdown for the Nintendo GameCube. I am the only person that has speedrun the game. I actually came up with the idea of turning it into a speedrun. Um, I wasn't the one who physically created it on the leaderboard, no. I asked one of the UFC moderators if he could create create speedruns for this game, and he did. <laughs> and I thank him for that. Um, so, but I came up with the idea, and I am the only one who has speedrun the game. I've speedrun the championship mode. I was trying to speedrun the arcade mode, but I find it kind of hard. For some reason. I don't know. I just haven't got around to it. I've been playing this game off and on since 
like late February, off and on since late February of last year. So only since late February last year. That's about the time that I started playing UFC games. I played it like about four or five years ago as well, UFC games. But I never really... I didn't play it much. Oh, uh, where's that one game? Where's that other MMA game? Ah, here it is. I also got Pride FC for the PlayStation 2. Pride, Pride Fighting Championship for the PlayStation 2. I've only been playing this game since mid-April. I only started playing this game since mid-April. And believe it or not, I already have the world record for Grand Prix Easy Mode. And I actually beat one person. I actually beat one person for the world record in this game already. Um, and he's actually really good in UFC games. He holds world records in multiple UFC games. So I kind of beat a... I kind of already beat a pro or legendary UFC gamer already. And I've only been playing this for eight months. I don't know how good I'll get, but I've already I've already got a world record. I attempted the world record so many friggin' times. It took me like almost twenty completed attempts to get the world record on easy mode. Uh, but I finally got it. It took a lot of attempts. It took me. No, it took me under three months. I got the world record in under three months. It took me like 86 days from the time I first played it to the time I got the world record. Only took me 86 days. <laughs> I'm pretty, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty good at fighting games. As you can see, world records in knees and the UFC throwdown. Other wrestling games that I'm world record holder in. Oh, I am really, really good at this game. Really good at this game. WrestleMania 19 for the GameCube. I, I love this game. I, I played so much of it. I probably, I probably gathered up about eight. 800 or more hours of play in this game. In this wrestling game specifically, I played almost 800 hours. I've never finished the revenge modes, but I have, I actually have all the world records in all of the King of the Ring modes. I have all three world records in the Royal Rumbles. I have the world record for the 10 man, which five other people have speed run it, and I have world record. I have world record in 30 man Royal Rumble. <laughs> I was really proud to get that one. I did, there are seven other people that have done it, and I have the world record for that one too. So, eight people, including me, in that. And then I also hold the world record in the 20 man. Um, the 20 man, only me and one other person has speedrun it. But yeah, I'm world record holder in all three of the Royal Rumbles. Uh, in total, there's nine other people that have speedrun either the 10 man, 20 man, or 30 man Royal Rumble. Uh, and so there's 10 people in total, including myself, and I have world records in all three of them. I also hold the world records in uh, King of the Ring Pin, WWE and World Championship, and King of the Ring Pin and Submission, uh, WWE and World Tag Team Championships as well. I'm also second place runner-up in tables, although there's only one other guy that does the tables. But there are three other people who do the other King of the Rings, the King of the Ring pins, 
and I'm world record in all of those. Uh, currently, I'm second place in WWE Championship pin, but I was first, second place out of four, and but I'm world champion. Uh, I'm first place out of four in the world championship and the tag team world in WWE. So yeah, um, the person I'm losing to in all five of the table categories is the exact same person that's beating me in the WWE Championship. He's... <laughs> He's good. He is freaking good at wrestling games. Oh my god. He's probably... He's, he might even be the best wrestling gamer of all time. He's... He has world records on a lot. He's really good. I'm beating him in some, and he's beating me in some. So, me and him are kind of the face of this game, basically. Except for the missions. I haven't done... I haven't speedrun the revenge. I have a total of 15 world records in that game. Uh, 12 currently, and 3 others that are former world records. So yeah, 15 in total. I was really happy to get the World Rumble World Records. That was insane. I was really happy to get those. And they're almost optimized too. Like only like a couple of seconds can be shaved off. That's about it. Or, or maybe sometime, some more time, but it definitely seems pretty optimized. Also, another wrestling game I'm still world record holder in. SmackDown vs. Raw for the PlayStation 2. I love this game. <laughs> Another wrestling game that I love. Um, I love this wrestling game. I am the world record holder in PlayStation 2, King of the Ring. Uh, there's one other guy that did it. He's only, he's only ran the category once. So I'm definitely King of the Ring. I'm, I definitely hold the world record for King of the Ring in this. Um, but I'm really good. I'm really good in the Royal Rumbles. Like, I got, I got some pretty fair, almost optimized times in the Royal Rumbles. I did, I got world record in the 10 man. Um, I'm, I'm actually tied for the world record in the 10 man Royal Rumble tied with one other guy. There's one other guy that speedruns this on PS2. Um, we have them in separate systems because there are slight differences for each system. I'm tied with one other guy for the 10 man. I'm also tied with one other guy for the 20 man as well. And for the 30 man, I am the only one to do it on PS2. There are some others who did it on other categories. Now, yeah, there are there are some other guys. There's actually two other people who got did it on other systems, and they did it. One did it in like 1330, and one other guy did it in 1322. I got a 1319, but we're not in the same category. There is one other that got the same time I did in 1319, but. We're in, we're in, we are in different categories because, again, there are slight differences. Not much, but slight differences. So, yeah, that's why it's categories. I hold four world records in this. Right now. Ah, also... Soul Calibur 2 for the game Nintendo GameCube. I told you I had this. I've been playing this game for 16 or 17 years. I've been playing this particular game for off and on for 17 years. Not not 17 years just for the GameCube, but overall Soul Calibur 2 I've been playing for 17 years. I love this game. I have 13, I have 
I have it in total of 13 world records in this game. I hold 13 world, world overall world records in this game. Only one of those world records I still currently have. The other 12 world records that I got in this game have already been beaten. And I only hold world records in individual characters. I don't have world records in games or whatever. Games or whatever. With individual characters I hold. Former and or current world records. Yeah, only one of my world records are cur still currently active in this. Only one of my 13 world records are still active in this. There is one single person that is... That has beaten all 12 of those world records. All 12 of those world records were beaten by the, the exact same person. I only have one world record in this game still. That's it. Out of my 13. Another game I held world record in that's on the N64. NBA Courtside 1998 for the N64 featuring Kobe Bryant. I've been playing this game off and on since early childhood. I was bad at it in my childhood. I wasn't very good. But now I'm basically too good. I'm too good for this game. I've never lost a single game in my adulthood. I haven't lost a single game for 15, for like 15 years. I've been undefeated for 15 years in this game. I, I actually though didn't start playing it again until 2019. From 2006, I started playing it in 2003, but from 2006 to 2019, I didn't play it at all. But since I played it, I've gone undefeated. I've won over 200 games in a row in the game. I mostly play on rookie mode, but I have even won on pro and even on all-star as well. Uh, I hold the world record, I hold a former world record for win a game. I hold the world, uh, I have a former world record for win a game. Um, fastest time you can win a game. I hold the former world record for that. Um, there's one other person that has speedrunned it. Um, he was the first person to officially speedrun it, and then I speedrunned it, and I ended up beating his time, but then a couple of hours after I beat his time, he then speedrunned it again and beat me. I've been unable to beat him so far. Um, I've been unable to beat his world record so far. You need to get very lucky RNG. And I haven't really got much lucky RNG lately. Uh, so yeah, a lot of a lot of random shit happens in it. A lot of random shit happens. Um, I do, however, hold the current world record for scoring 50 points. I have the world record for scoring as many scoring 50 points as fast as possible. So I still have world record in that. I'm the only person that has speedrun that category. So I'm not really beating anybody for a world record in this, but I do still have one world record. One current and one former world record for this game. I do I do still really like the game. I um I don't really like playing the game like fast. Like, win a game as fast as you can, and that is to score as little points as possible. To, like, win with as less points as possible. I, I'm more like the point scoring and shit, so I'm way more into that. He was the one who created the category. 
I was the one who suggested the 50 points. So, yeah. I also have Fantastic Four PlayStation 2. Came out in 2005. Um, I have not beat this game. I have never beat this game. That's surprising, considering that I have world records in this game. This is, this is the only game I own that I have never beat that I have world records in. This is the only game that I own that I have never beaten that I have world records in. I have four world records in individual levels. I have four world records in ILs. Um... I have four world records in ILs. I've never even finished, but I've, for the game, I've never even finished it. It's a long game. It's a long game. Uh, each one, each one of the four categories that I'm world record holder in, uh, there's one other person. There's one other person that I'm beating in each of these four categories. Now, one of those four categories. I am a former world record holder in. The one world record I have that is a former world record, there are two other people besides me who speedrun that category. One that I'm still beating and one that who is beating me, but I did get the four world records when one other guy was doing it. So yeah, I, I like this game. I mostly got it for the arenas. I like, I really like the arena modes. I hope they can make that a speed run eventually. The arena ones. And yes, of course, there's a lot of people in this game that I'm beating. There's a lot of people in this game that I'm beating for world records. In this game, there's ten other people besides me. Nine of, nine of those other people besides me do the Royal Rumbles. One just does King of the Rings. <laughs> I also got Street Fighter 4 for the 3DS. Super, Super Street Fighter 4 for the 3DS. I love this game. I I started playing it in 2014. I played the original and beat the original a bunch of times. But I don't have world records in the original. I love this game. I do have world records in this. I have former world records in the individual character car crusher. Uh, runs. I have world records for those. All of them are all the car crusher ones. I'm former world record holder in. All of them I'm former world record holder in. Uh, of the car crushers. The one world record that I still do have for this game is the any percent any percent arcade mode. I have any percent easiest mode on arcade mode for this game. I have the any percent world record for this game. And I have it against four other people. I have the any percent world record against four other people. And the any percent is the most popular one and is the one that most people care about. I have, I have the world record for the 3DS version on arcade mode, any percent. Um, there is one other, and I have it against four other people who also did it on the 3DS. There's another world record holder on any percent who did it much faster than me, but he did it on the PS2 version. I mean, PS2. Play... PC version, the computer version. The computer version 
Um, it's easier. The computer version is at least slightly easier than it is on the 3DS. So they're split up into two different categories. Uh, he's really good at Street Fighter games. Uh, yeah. The world record holder on the PC. I, I hold the world record on the 3DS. He holds world record on the PC. There are slight differences. I still hold the world record against four other people. So, still is doing very good. I, I also love the, really love this game too. So, I'm world record holder in Street Fighter and Soul Calibur games. And I basically got world records in all type of fighting games. I have world records in MMA games, world records in wrestling games, world records in Street Fighter and Soul Calibur, and I also hold world record in a boxing game, which I'm about to show you now, the game that I have, boxing game that I have world records in. Rocky, the movie, the mo based off of the movie series, based off of the first five movies that came out from 1978 all the way until 1970, no, ni it was about 1976, something like that. 1976 to 1990, the five movies. GameCube version. I've been playing this game off and on since I was a teenager, off and on. I played it first on the PlayStation, then I got it on the GameCube. Um, I hold nine world records for this, and they're all in ILs. They're all in individual levels. Um, and none of those nine categories, other people speedrun. I'm the only one, I'm the only world record holder in all nine of these categories. But still world record nonetheless. It doesn't matter how popular a game is, it's still world record nonetheless. I really like this game too. I really like it. Story mode is story mode's pretty long. But yeah, I got a bunch of IL world records in this. Um, ILs are like beating an individual character, winning one match against one character in exhibition mode and stuff. Also, Madagascar Karts. I like this game too. Um, it's sort of like Mario Kart. It's not nearly as good. I don't have any world records for Mario Kart in case you're wondering. They're way too popular. Um, I do I do really like this game. Um, I have one world record in this. Uh, the world record for all all nine time trials in this game. And in case you're wondering, I'm the only one that speedrun it. Still, again, world record nonetheless. Yeah. Um... I also have world records in ATV Off-Road Fury 4 for the PlayStation 2. I hold world records in individual races and individual laps in this game. I hold three world records for this game for individual races. And no, I'm not beating anyone. I'm the only one to speed run Um... I really love these ATV games. They're really fun. There's some really good ATV speedrunners out there, though. Jesus. A lot of them have a lot of skill. I like to play individual races and laps and stuff. I also like playing the cup, but it's sometimes hard sometimes. 
times. I have beat a few cups in each of the ATV games. Now, some now there is one game that I have world record in that I don't have, and that is ATV versus MX Unleashed for the PlayStation Two. I have world I have one world record in that, and again I'm the only one. Yeah, I don't I don't have it. ATV versus MX for the PlayStation 2 Unleashed. I don't have it now. And yes, it is the only game I have world record in that I don't currently have. I also have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2007 for the PlayStation 2. I love this game. This game is really long, too. This game is really long. It's like a five, it's like at least a five hour game. It is about a five hour game, but the world record for this game is insane. The world record for this game is two hours and 15 minutes. It's insane. I can only beat it in probably like four hours. I can only beat it in four hours. I haven't put in a lot of time, though. They put in a lot more time than me. A lot of people who play, who speedrun this game, this is the only game that they've speedrun. So, yeah. <laughs> usually, usually going to be way better than people like me who speedrun a thousand million, billion, trillion, fulfilling <laughs> games. <laughs> I do hold five world records for this game. I hold five individual level world records for this game. I hold five individual world records for this game, and no, again, no, I'm the only one that speedruns it. Uh, I have beat one person in level one. I have beat one person's time in level one. But the other categories I ran, uh, I'm the only one. So, yeah. And that's it for video games that I have world records in. I also have, which I can't show to you, because of course they're in my phone. I also have, wor I also have many world records, full game world records... IL world records and individual world world records in games called Dadish 1 and Dadish 2 for both the Android and the Nintendo Switch. I have I have I have IL it like individual level individual world and even full game world records for Dadish 1 and Dadish 2 for the mobile device and the Nintendo Switch. I hold world records in all those categories in both. In both systems, both games. I'm the only person I'm the only person to do so. And yes, there's there's other people that have speedrun those categories. For most of those categories that I got world records in, other people have speedrun it. And of course, I got former world record, current world records, and former world records in those games. So I have, <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of world records in those, and that other people have ran. So I actually counted, and I have eight. I have world records in 18 different games. I have world records in 18 different games currently. Two of those 18 games are former world records. Two of those games I have former world records in. That are 16, I still have current world records in. Uh, I'll show you the games that I have world records in that at least one or more people have speedrun. 
Uh, of course, ten other people have speedrun this game. And I have world records against all ten. And one of them has world records against me. Uh, and I also have world records against him. This game, there's only one person in each category. I don't really have world records against them, though. Well, I do kind of in King of the Ring, but not in Royal Rumbles. We're tied. But again, I have way more experience in the King of the Rings. He kind of has a little bit more experience in this game particularly than I do, but I have I also have world record I also have experience in other wrestling games, so I don't know. I don't know. It's not we don't most Speedrunners, though, don't really p compare one's experience to the others. Don't usually do that. But oftentimes, more often than not, it is often the advantage that the person who's done it more does usually have the advantage. I have world records against, like, at least half a dozen people in this. Uh... Yeah, and there's one person that's beating me. She, it's, it's a she. She's actually extremely good at Soul Calibur. She has world record, many world records in almost all the Soul Calibur games. She's really friggin' good. She's definitely like the pioneer of Soul Calibur games. I have world records in this against two other people. I have world records in this, but not against other people. I have world records in this against one other person. I had world records in this against five other people, but now, now I'm beating four other people and I don't have world records, but still I had world records against multiple people. And world records in this against multiple people. Only two, two other people in this multiple world records in. In this one, like I said, I have world records in four other people. I used to have a world record in this against one other person. Used to. Ah, uh, let's not count it though, for now. Let's not count that game I have against other people. We're still counting Warzone and Attitude against other people because I'm still beating. I'm, yeah, I don't have the world record anymore, but I'm still beating other people. And I had the world record in that game when the other people didn't. I'm the only one. UFC Throwdown, I'm the only one. And I'm the only one for these categories. So, let me see. One, two, three, four. Okay, five. Five, eight. So, eight games here that I have hold world records in against other people. Wait a minute, is that right? I thought I had more like nine. So, eight games here that I hold world records in against other people. Two of them I don't hold world records in. So, if you didn't count those, 
Then I have six games that I hold world records in against other people. And again, currently. But, like I mentioned before, there are three games that I can't showcase here that I hold world records against other people. There's three other games that I don't have right now that I can't showcase that I have against other people. And that is Dadish 1 and 2 for Switch and Mobile. Um, I held world records against a bunch of people in those games. I'm really, really dedicated. I'm not the most skilled Dadish player, not by a long shot. There are more skilled, but... I'm I'm dedicated. I'm more way more dedicated than most people in that game. In some ways I think I can actually say I'm basic I basically am the most dedicated person in that game. <laughs> so yeah, which is why I have so many world records. I have about I have about 30 world records currently in Dadish. In Dadish 1 and 2 for mobile and Switch, I have 30, about 25 or 30 current world records, and then about 20 or 25 former world records. It's a popular game. Uh, so a lot of people end up beating my world records. Um... The game came out in February of last year, and Dadish 1 came out last year in February. Um, and they already have 136 people that have their times verified on the leaderboards for speedrunning. There are 135 people that speedrun Dadish. There are 135 people that speedrun just Dadish 1. Yeah, 135 people. That's a lot. In a year and nine months, 135 people speedrunning? That is a lot. It's kind of blew up. And for Dadish 2, it's only been out since January of this year, and it already has... 100 people. 100 people speedrun Dadish 2. I already have 100 people in just 10 months. The game's kind of blown up in a way. Jeez. But yeah, I have a lot of world records in that. I'm, I'm quite dedicated. I'm... I'm going to have to make this in two separate videos. So, yeah. I'm going to show I'm going to showcase more games in this video. So, I'm going to get right to it quick. I'm going to get I'm actually going to get right to it quickly the other games. In these games I don't hold world records in. Uh Okay, we have Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. I love this game. I love this game. I've been playing it since June of last... I've only been playing it since June of last year. I've collected... I've collected over a thousand moons. There's still some moons that I... That I'm gonna need to collect if I want to truly want to resent it. But I've collected over a thousand moons. I beat it on any percent, like about 50 times. Not anywhere near the world record. World records are nuts in this. But yeah, I really love this game. It's amazing. Amazing Mario game. Yeah, I beat it a lot. And I haven't collected all the suits. But I saved the princess 50 times. Super Smash Brothers. Uh, this is the only Super Smash Bros. game I have. Um, I love the Super Smash Bros. series. I used to play Super Smash Bros. games all the time. <laughs> 
at one point, they were actually the only games that I really played. I still played other games. I still played many other games, but I would play this. Most of the time that I played games, I would play Smash Bros. I've only played about 100 hours in this one particularly, but over the years and over the course of six different games, I've played over 3,000 hours of Super Smash Bros. games. Um, I, I love these games. I was, I was pretty good at it too. I was once, I was once an amateur competitive Smash Bros. player. I didn't win any tournaments. I did, I did put up a fight. I actually put up a fight in some amateur tournaments. And I even won a couple matches actually. I won a couple matches in some amateur tournaments. I would like to maybe eventually try to try to maybe one day become a uh, maybe at least a very good amateur Smash Bros. Maybe even maybe even a decent pro. I don't know. Maybe maybe. I I really love I really love this game. It's a good game to be competitive in. It's really fun. I also did some speed runs in it too. I'm definitely not first place, but I beat a bunch of people on the leaderboard. Mario Tennis Aces. I I do really like this game, but I don't like it as much as the Nintendo GameCube one. The Nintendo GameCube one has more better mini games than this one. I still love this game a lot. Uh, been playing it only since last year. I have done some speed runs too with Mushroom Cub. And again, definitely not World Record. I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know. The world record for Mushroom Cup in this is three minutes. Somebody beat Mushroom Cup in three minutes. Like, oh my god. My record, my PB is only like 545. I could do it faster, and I don't know all the techniques, but still, like, three minutes. Like, oh my god. Like I said, I've also been playing Switch for only a year. A lot of the people have been playing it for four for since it really came out, but still, for, like, oh my god, some people are just really good at this game. But I have, I do have some decent, decent runs in. I beat a couple people on the board, and yeah, it's it's a pretty good game. It's a pretty decent game. I also have Mario Super Mario Bros. U for the Nintendo Switch. And it also comes with Luigi U as well. It's a sort of shorter... It's a sort of... It's, it's sort of the harder but shorter version of Mario Bros. U. Um... It's different, the level design is different, and the bosses, it's all, villains are different and everything. Um, mm, it's not the best Super Mario Brothers new uh, games. Uh, I really like the challenge mode, I beat a bunch of ones in the challenge mode. I... I beat this, I beat Luigi U and Mario U on the Wii U. I beat it on the original Wii U. And I also beat it a couple beat them both a couple times on the Switch. Not 100%, but yeah, beat it. <laughs> beat all the beat all the worlds and stuff. It's a pretty long one as well. Uh, 
I'll show you my other N64 games. Star Wars Racer for the N64. I love this game. I've been playing it since off and on since 2003, 2003 sorry. There was a 10 year, 10 year period where I didn't play this game at all. And then I started playing it again in 2000 and late 2018. I love this game a lot. I uh, I love the amateur circuit. I beat I beat the amateur circuit a lot of times. Uh, I've done some speed runs too. I'm nowhere near world record pace, but I've done some decent runs. I beat like maybe two people on the leaderboard. I'm decent at it, uh, but I like I really love this game a lot. <laughs> now we got the most popular N64 speedrunning game of all time. Perhaps, perhaps even the most popular speedrun game of all time. A game that people spend thousands upon thousands of attempts and thousands upon thousands of hours on it. Well, simply cheating, cheesing it. Well, simply cheesing it. Cheesing means killing it. Doing amazing. Simply cheesing it. Oh my god. There's a reason why I'm, why I'm making that joke. You might know if you follow N64, Mario N64 speedrunning. Yeah, there are 5,000 5, people submitted their times to leaderboard in this game. Recently, three of the popular categories got beaten. Three of the most popular categories in this game got beaten in November. That's nuts. There are so many freaking world records that got beaten in November. The 16 star world record got beaten in November. The 120 star one got beaten. And the 70 star run got beaten. <laughs> uh, yeah, people spend thousands upon thousands of hours. And most of the leaders in this game, this is the only game they run. Yeah, so you can count me out of ever getting anywhere close to the world record. Because, yeah, people spend thousands upon thousands of hours, and even more so, basically only play this game. So, yeah. But this game is really fun to play. Not only, not only is this game fun to speedrun, but it is also fun to, really fun to play. I love this game a lot. This game is amazing. One, one of the best Mario games in the world, basically. It is an amazing game. I've beat, I beat it on 70 star prop over a hundred times. I beat it over a hundred times on the 70 star run. I got fairly decent times in Mario 64, uh, 70 star. Nowhere anywhere near world record. How could I ever get a world record in this game? I'm not that good at games. It's more so, it's more so that I play a thousand million, billion, trillion, fulfilling, bajillion, infinity games. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, but I got decent runs. Uh, my record for my PB for 70 star is about an hour and 45 minutes, which isn't very good at all. World record for 70 star is like 40, 46 minutes and 58 seconds. Uh, so I'm way off of the world record. 
The 120 star world record is faster than my 70 star. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it for this video, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do this in two separate videos because there are a ton more games that I got. I, I'm just going to give you a rough... A rough thing. Yeah, those are the other games that I haven't showcased yet. <laughs> Still have to showcase all those games. And there's some here too. Some 3DS ones and some over there. And then some DVD interactive games are hiding way over there. <gasps> I've beaten, I've beaten about 110, I beat about 110 out of my 115 or 120 games that I own, so, yeah, I beat almost all, all my 120 games that I have, so, yeah, <laughs> uh, most of the new games I got, I haven't beat, the only the games, the only new games that I got that I have beat is Soul Calibur and the Mario NES. So, yeah. So, maybe there's about 12 games that I have that I haven't yet beat out of my 120 or 15, whatever collection. I'll have to count and then come back. All right. Well, that's it. Sorry, we're cutting this a little short. All right, thanks. Bye.